up and running. Sure, we are up and ready to go. Let's have a look and see. <laughs> it's still not working. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Put the death canter there. Let's see if it would fix itself today. And it seems that it's not working. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Uh, I have been updating it in the background though, so if anyone has been watching, the death counter is accurately up to date. We are on 24 deaths, even though it's not displaying. I'm gonna attempt to correct. You know what? I'll, you know what I'm just gonna do? I'm just gonna make a brand new text box and see if that'll do it. Add component text. Paste. Uh, let's grab it and move it and hit. Wait, where are my souls? I need to see so that I can. Because I had it nicely. I, I liked the position. I know a lot of people tend to put it really big and bold. I liked the fact that it sat. Uh, hey, Danny! Thanks for dropping by straight away. <laughs> nice to see you. Uh, I liked the fact that the, the text box was like right above the souls. The soul counter, but below the item acquisition. So, stream should refresh now in a second, and we'll have a look and see. Uh, I'm also gonna just check that the bot is up and running. It is. Hi, Bob. Um, wonderful. Um, okay. Thanks, Kando. No worries, no worries. Hope the raid goes well for you in Destiny. Um, awesome. Oh! VDW Ultra. Thanks for following. No worries, Danny. Hope the script talks go well. Enjoy. Sounds exciting. Can't wait to hear about it soon. Um, go win. Thank you. Yeah, we will. So yeah, I suppose that's a good transition to uh, what are we doing today. Um, today, I'm going to go and collect a whole bunch of things that uh, I think I need to level up. I definitely felt <laughs> under-leveled <laughs> fighting Rudan. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I definitely felt under-leveled fighting Rudan, so I need to definitely level up a bit. Basically, I didn't fight Rudan. If anyone missed it, it's in the VOD on YouTube. I really didn't fight Rudan at all. <laughs> uh, it was basically... Yeah, it wasn't Rudan. I, I basically, all the... AI that I summoned in, all the boys who were fighting killed Rodan for me, essentially. I think I bled him like once or twice, but <laughs> pretty much it was like all the guys fighting him that killed him and I just rode around on the horse basically. Um, which wasn't my plan. I was just going in there to test and see if I could do it and then I ended up being like oh, this is... the health bar is lowering faster than I thought it was going to lower. So, uh, But the exciting thing about today, as I've put in the stream title, is today we will get a jar. Because post uh, killing Radon, you uh, speak to Alexander, Jar Alexander, Jar Warrior Alexander here. And actually, an exciting thing happened last time was that Alexander called us a great warrior. He said he failed us in battle. I think he did great. I summoned him like three or four times, and he was great. But he uh, said that he failed us and went and hid during the battle and that we were a great warrior and everyone it's kind of funny because Blythe also praised you as a great warrior but I really did nothing I just rode around on a horse and let all of them do the work so uh, that's just how the game is scripted but it, I thought it was pretty funny so technically we are now a companion or a consort to Alexander which is exciting uh, but now we must become Jar Friend and get rid of this awful looking prison helmet that we have on with the one eye that looks awful so we will, uh, yeah, we're going to go get that jar helmet today from Alexander up in Volcano Manor. And then, yeah, we're going to go around and do a bunch of things. I'll probably do some optional bosses. Uh, I did just get 
seventy thousand souls from Redan, so I need to I need to assign those right now. So I'll probably work on assigning those right now. That is that is the plan. Uh, if you hadn't seen, we have a new stream goal, uh, and it is our new follower goal set to fifty followers now because we hit our well Twitch automatically. When you set a follower goal, Twitch automatically sets it at 30. And until you hit 30, you can't custom set a goal. So I could technically set a custom goal right now of 100. I think that's over jumping things too much. That's tripling my current follower count. But um, I, I can now set it as custom. Uh, 50 makes the most sense because you have to get 50 followers and hit a number of other metrics to become an affiliate or a Twitch affiliate. So yeah, we've set it as uh, 50 uh, for now. So um, yeah, thanks so much to everyone who has been following along, everyone who's joining. Danny followed yesterday, really appreciate it. Thank you VDW Ultra for, uh, I was gonna say Wultra, uh, <laughs> VDW Ultra for following along today. Um, yeah, all those follows. Yeah, it means so much. It means so much that people are coming along this journey with me and experiencing this. It's great to kind of chat to people. It's great to have people to chat to. I was totally expecting to go live and just like stream to my bot and no one else. So really appreciate all of my friends who have been, um, yeah, really making an effort and showing up and supporting me. So it's been, uh, yeah, it's been good fun because of that, um, and I really appreciate it. So yeah, we're just gonna do some levels up right now. Uh, I'm still trying to work out what I should level up. I felt like my damage was a little low, but I also kind of feel like I need more stamina. Hey, it's some rabbi! <laughs> Hello, friending. Um, yeah, just starting out. I'm just trying to figure out the levels that I need. I just killed a boss yesterday at the end of the stream, and I need to figure out where to put the levels <laughs> and see what I'm doing. Um, speaking of that, I know we said the other time that we would do jolly cooperation. I um, found out that it's not crossbow between console and PC. <laughs> so we won't be doing jolly cooperation, unfortunately. Not yet, anyway. Um, which I was a bit disappointed to find out. I, I just assumed it was. I didn't even think. Um, okay, I don't know if I'm going to do... That is all my levels if I put them into endurance, and I don't go up very high. So I think we will continue... We'll put three into there. I kind of want to increase my mind just a little bit, so I have, I've been finding it a bit slow. I know, it's so annoying. <laughs> I, I, I don't know why I assumed it, because like Dark Souls multiplayer in general is always kind of random. Uh, okay, we're going to go with these. Dark Souls multiplayer is always just kind of random, so uh, I don't know why I assumed that it would, like, yeah, that it would be cross-play considering it's Dark Souls and the multiplayer is like kind of complicated with its finger system. I mean, it's way better now. Uh, you used to summoning used to be a lot harder, but it's much easier now. Um, but yeah, I don't know why I assumed it would be fine. But anyway, so yeah, sad times. Um, but you know, we'll see. I could, I could get a PC. No, the PC is not on my list of things to buy right now. <laughs> um, as much as I would, as much as I would like one, there's a number of games recently that I've been like, ah, uh, I wouldn't mind playing that. I think it's funny having Game Pass and opening myself to a wide variety of games. Oh, should we do this? We might be more leveled up to do this. Let's give this a go. Um, yeah, having Game Pass and being able to like, oh, okay, he missed. And being able to play a wider variety of games on Game Pass. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, just has kind of opened me to being like, oh, I really want to play like way more games than what I'm currently playing. And obviously PC is a big way to do that because there's just loads of stuff on there. But um, yeah, it's just not in my budget purview right now. Scarlet Rodham. Okay, that's good. We just keep taking tick damage for a while. It'd be nice to bleed him. Mm, AoE, AoE. I'm sorry, Prince of Lies, right here. No, I was, 
I would like to get a PC, but I just, yeah, I can't afford it anytime soon. But I've definitely, the more I've been playing games kind of recently, the more I've been like, oh, I wouldn't mind like having access to that game or being able to play that game. Um, more so than I have in previous years, I think. I'd put it down to probably just feeling more and more like a gamer, I guess. Nah, it's not on Game Pass. Uh, this is this. I can actually say for certain that this is probably the last game that I actually. No, that's not. No, that's a lie. I was gonna say this is the last game I bought. Uh, this came out two years ago, and I got it when it came out. Oh, did he just one shot me? He just one shot me. <laughs> he just one shot me. Oh dear. I was, that was me not paying attention. Wow, it still doesn't want to do the number. I wonder if the text box just hates numbers. If that's what the problem is. It was working the other day. It is no longer working, though. Yeah, I think... Yeah, you know what? Okay, well, I've updated it to 25. For those watching, we are on 25 deaths. Uh, I'm not going to leave... a text box up that isn't working though on the stream so I'm just going to get rid of that now in a sec but uh, yeah we're on 25 deaths now in total for this playthrough um, yeah that's a bit annoying that it's still not working properly what way is he facing? he's not facing the right way, perfect okay I gotta be more careful when he spawns in that thing like that. That was close. Also, it'd be great if I could actually grab there. <laughs> it's great because that does damage to all his other minions. That's the AoE. I didn't realize this guy would be able to one-shot me. I really am very weak when I'm not like using a shield build. Oh no, I'm running towards him. How much of a backhand does he have? Not too much of one. Is he gone? He's gone. I think that might be just summoning more guys, but he may have hit his maximum dudes. Oh, I'm running straight through. Oh, he's moving quick. I feel like he's going to do a boat slam. Or not. Okay, never mind. He didn't. Again, I'm running towards him. That was really dangerous. So just doing the one, just the one slap. Okay. Oh, he moved. I wasn't expecting that, actually. Take a quick sup. This side? Nope, but he summoned the big dude. Where's he gone, though? Oh, is that him up there? It is. Okay, he's gone up the hill. I didn't realize he 
was going to go up the hill. I haven't done this. I don't even remember doing this battle the first time around, but I probably did because it's kind of on the way to places. Oh no. And behind it, it's okay. Wait, how do I get up there? I guess I'll just try and jump up this way? Or not. See, I don't even know how to get up there. Oh, up here. Okay. Maybe in the big slow. The big slow. Oh, he's not even in water. <laughs> Boatman's not even in water. death route. That's where the beast I was quivering. Okay, well we want to keep going this way because I want to get uh, up behind Volcano Manor. Uh, oh, there's a side of grace. Perfect. Perfect. Um, lovely. Uh, okay, what am I going to put this into? I might bring this up to closer to 15. We might try and get our FP up to 100. Currently at 88, this will bring us to 91. Yeah, I might put a few more into the FP to get it up above. Just so that when we're like casting the spell on the shield and we're using weapon arts and stuff like that, it'll uh, be a bit easier. Oh, this guy's big. He's got a lot of health. Thankfully, I still stun him. Oh, I forgot about the dangers here. These lava shoots can definitely one-shot me. Ooh, golden seed. Nice. I missed the item. I'm really bad if I can step off on that horse. Smithing stone 5, that's very useful. Very, very useful. Oh, there's one behind that. that. Oh, another set of grace. I wasn't expecting that, actually. Huh. That's useful, though, because this place is all kind of... I say high level. It's not that high level, but I just feel very weak when I'm on the horse, especially, because I can't pop up the shield and block damage. I'm very much... I don't know, this isn't even a glass cannon build, <laughs> because I don't even do much damage. It's just... glass build? <laughs> what is going on over here? We scrapping. <sighs> oh yeah, so Alexander is over there behind that rock. There is a boss here, and I don't know... Maybe if I get up on top of the rock and just speak to Alexander from the rock, the boss might not be able to hit me. <laughs> but we won't be able to hear Alexander's wonderful voice lines, which is the whole point of this playthrough. Oh, well, there we go. Um... Oh, 
Well, we're finding him now. Okay. That's to be expected. He one-shots me when I don't have a thing on. Time, Stick America, 26. We will keep updating the death counter and find out why the text box is not working. Yeah, I, 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 I'm doing a really bad build right now. <laughs> so this really doesn't help. Uh. It's not a really bad build, it's just, I need to be fighting this thing not on a horse. Um, but the problem is he does fire damage. No worries. 24 hour race, that's insane. I remember you talking about this. Last time I was watching my eyes, like, oh my goodness, like 24 hours is just nuts to me. Mm. Appreciate you lurking, though. Um. Fire is gonna kill me. Yeah, that fire hurts. to the lab and I want him away from it. I got a bleed off, I didn't realize. Come on, over this way. Over this way more. definitely do this, it's just going to take time. Okay, that's 27 deaths overall. Um, yeah, I can definitely do this. It's just going to be time consuming. Because I can't take a single hit from him. I think I'll give it one more go. And if not, I might just go try and level up my weapon instead. Like, he's slow. Goodness, not up in these rocks. It's really hard to do anything on these rocks. Ah, oh, it's too far out of his zone. I go this way, sir. Or not all the way over there, though. Push me into the lava. 
Yeah, I need to be in a place where I do a bit more damage. Otherwise, this is just going to be too tedious. Um, slight of grace because I want to grab my souls. So, that kind of changes our goal. Well, that doesn't change our goal. Our goal is still going to remain the same. But this time, our goal for the stream now is more acquiring. Being strong enough to kill him so that we can have the conversation with Alexander and get the jar. Uh, uh, actually, you know what? I should double check that Alexander is even over there in the first place and that I haven't forgotten a step. Yes, he is. I can see him there in the distance. Over by that rock, there's Alexander the jar. There he is. Arms folded. Sitting in the lava like an absolute champ. Um, yeah, so our goal will be to go chat to him. I want to chat to him, though. I'm pretty sure I could, like, stand up on the rock and just... Uh, avoid all the hits from the rock and talk to Alexander from the rock because you can activate his speech from the rock because uh, obviously it's, he's in lava and you can't stand in lava otherwise you'll be taking damage without any buffs or rings or anything like that so um, I'd rather though have the thing dead so we can actually hear the voice lines have a fun time role play a little bit with Alexander have some fun so um, in order to do that I've got to kill that boss first so uh, that will be the uh, the aim for the stream. Didn't know there was going to be all these guys in here. How much damage do I do to them? That's the question. Oh, decent, decent, decent. Oh, I just got hit in the back, though. Oh, these guys are so just get hit. It. That's one down. Why is it locked onto a dude all the way at the back? Okay, there we go. That. It's the bear. I was like, there's gotta be something that rips open that statue. Yeah, the big bear. See if I can get him, bait him into doing it. Ow, ow. Mm, he hit me in midair, but that's okay. Oh, no. Come on, big bear. Come on, bear. Do a jump, do a jump, do a jump, do a jump, do a jump. No, he's not doing the jump. Oh my goodness, that attack. Who knew a bear had a ranged attack? Yes, he got it. Okay, success. Sorry, for anyone who doesn't know Elden Ring and Dark Souls, there's those statues that kind of glow, and that means they have an item in them, and you need a big enemy like a bear to be able to actually get the item. And usually it's quite good. Like, that was three smithing stones, six. And I really need three smithing stones, six right now, so... That is very useful. Grab the item where the bear jumps down from. I don't know what that is. Wow, this bear is persistent. Hopefully going around that house will mean he can't go around the house too easily and he'll get a bit stuck. Um, yeah, the reason I'm killing the bear is because it's just not worth the, the souls and the effort, in my opinion. <laughs> at this point, anyway. Later on, I'll, later on I'll do it, but at this point it's not really worth it. Right now, I'm just going to run around and gather all the things that I need to gather. Uh, okay. Actually, 12,500? That might be enough for... A level up. Nope. I need another 402. Okay. Wait, the map fragment's back there. Oh, I bet you that map, fra map fragment is up high and not actually near where I was. Honestly, right now I'm just kind of wandering. I can't... I thought this looped around to Volcano Manor. But I can't quite remember. Oh my... Oh, one of those guys. Oh, I need to be careful. Oh, Hermit Village. I don't actually remember this very well. Wow, I 
really don't remember much of this at all. Wait, there's a boss here? And a side of grace beside the boss? What the heck is that? I hope that wasn't an NPC that I'm meant to talk to. Essentially is. What is? Oh! <laughs> Comet is there. Hey, pot friend. Comet is there, for anyone who doesn't know, is a very powerful spell. I had no idea that this is where you got it from. What? <laughs> that is so funny. Okay. Uh, okay, onwards. Actually, yeah, honestly, I have no idea where I am right now. This feels like a catacomb. Oh, it's definitely a catacomb. We're gonna go down here and get the Sight of Grace. We're gonna head back up and out again. Is this is kind of yeah, it is. Gilmer Hero's grave. Ah, the Beast Eye Quivers. Okay, so this is another. Uh, I can't even remember what those Death Rush. That's the one. My friend in chat, Kendo the Brave, was the one who had to remind me what death roots were called the other day. <laughs> I was like, the thing that you give the beast clergyman. Can't remember what that thing is. I should pop, I just realized, I should pop my AC off so it's not interfering with my mic. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't, it depends on the angle that I've got my mic at, and I don't know what that angle is or isn't. <laughs> I haven't tested it. Um, and by mic I mean like my headset, my, my, my headphones. Because I do not yet have a uh, proper microphone. I would like to get one. I had a really nice one uh, back when I lived in Ireland. Uh, me and uh, a friend of mine uh, shared purchase of one because he used it for something and then I used it kind of a bit for streaming and other things. Uh, well, no, not streaming. I made a few YouTube videos if you want to check that out over on my YouTube channel. <laughs> um, yeah, I had a few YouTube videos. I made some things for fun and tried it out. And I, I really enjoyed it. It was just very time consuming and at the time, I was working a job where I didn't have the time. Uh, that's not saying that I have the time now, but I have a little bit more time at the moment, and that's why we're here streaming, trying it out. Um, yeah, I really have no idea where I am, but I'm hoping it's bringing me towards the map fragment. I think if I keep going the direction that I was, I'll get to the map fragment. I'm just doing a lot of grave robbing right now. I think this is the second set already in this stream. Where I get all these souls. Very useful. I keep calling them souls. They're runes in Elden Ring, but I just call them souls because I've played all the Dark Souls games. And that is what I'm used to. But uh, yeah, for anyone just joining or catching up, we're just kind of speeding through everything right now. Trying to get some upgrades, trying to level up. That's why I'm just speeding around and skipping all the enemies, getting some fast travels. Um, we want to kill the magma worm. The goal for the stream is to kill the magma worm. Wait, is that the crafted sign? It looks like it, but it's not. It's a grafted sign. I'm not going to boss health bar though. Yeah, and I can't summon. Interesting. Okay. 
How much damage to do? Not very much. Yeah, you know, we'll leave him alone. I bet you he'll kill me as I'm trying to get up this ladder. Oh, wow. Can he throw things? He can't. I will, whenever I come across the actual boss grafted scion again, I will kill him. I will get revenge for the beginning of the game. Uh, when you have that re required death that uh, Kendo the Brave is telling me is not a required death, it's he puts you to 1 HP and then you teleport, but uh, I remember doing the like soul's death thing and body fading away, so I don't know. Uh, I don't believe it. Oh! Did he just make his way up here? Yeah, he did. He's just there. Or did he respawn? I'd say he respawned. I'm hearing sounds that I don't like. Yeah, him. No, no dodge! Oh, no. That combo is too long. No. Ah, oh, that's so stupid. That is death 28. Sad times. That combo is like too long. I don't have enough stamina to to block that combo. I don't even know if where I'm going is the right way. This could be a giant waste of time. As you can see, I do very little damage to uh, do very little damage to this guy up here. It's kind of why I'm avoiding him. Okay, we're gonna lure him out over here. Yoo-hoo. Yoo-hoo. Come on. Do some kind of big swinging attack. Yeah, here we go. He's gonna buff himself. And then he's gonna do the jump attack, is he? Um, he's doing a jump attack, but not the jump. That's the jump attack. There we go. That's the one. Gives me the time to get the ladder and climb, climb, climb! Climb, climb, climb! Haha! -ha. Oh yeah. That has just reminded me to get my souls back. I wish I could be up here somewhere. My runes. Don't really know where they're going to be. I did want to go up that ladder. I think my runes are up the next one. I'm trying to see if he respawned again. Or is that just a second one? Or is he like respawning up here? Okay, and we're going back down because I want to take the other ladder. We Boom. Because I want to see where this one goes. Actually, I want to see what's over here. <laughs> Enemy behind me. Uh, all of them... Oh my goodness, that poor guy got just absolutely shrecked. Poor lad. Hopefully this guy doesn't decide to walk around the corner and shoot at me. Ooh, hoo, hoo, they are almost getting me. Ugh. Mm. Okay. Seems like they can't shoot any higher. We're in the clear. Ah, <gasps> welcome, dear customer. Yes, right this way. Right it's this. Other way. Santa. Welcome. It's a coal Santa. Customer. Please. Buy something. I'm hungry. Sure. If you have something, I'll, uh, yeah, I'll take a stone sword key. Stone sword key. Wow. Stone sword key. <laughs> I'm still messing that word up. Ooh, volcano pot and rope. You know, we gotta buy it. They're pots. We gotta have the pots. 
Um, cool. I could have leveled up. Instead, I allowed you to get some money for food. <laughs> hey, it's a go. Exciting, exciting times. I'm probably missing a whole bunch of items by not taking the multiple staircases, but I kind of know all the items that I want and need for this build, and none of them are here. So as long as I'm not missing like stone sword keys or stuff like that, I don't really mind too much. Okay, we got a bunch of knights up here. Got a nice view of one of the sides of Volcano Manor. That goes one way and this goes another way. Oh, there's a bonfire over here. Let's go over the bonfire. <laughs> oh, this is the Falling Star Beast. I'm pretty sure. Is he in my way of progressing? Can I go around? Huh. Okay, we'll jump up and double check. Yeah, 100% falling star beast. Yeah, so we're gonna jump right back down again. Okay, because I'm definitely under level for them. I'm kind of under level for this whole area right now. Okay, we gotta de aggro this boss. I can't pull up my map. Um. Okay, um, I really have no idea where that is, and this is really bothering me that I have no idea how to get to the map fragment. Like, maybe you do have to kill the Falling Star Beast, I just don't remember, but I'm pretty sure there's another way around the Falling Star Beast. Let's go up the other way that I saw back over this side and see where this takes me. I'm very much enjoying exploring this game again, even though I've like played it all and kind of been everywhere, I'm, I'm very much enjoying experiencing it for what feels like the first time again. A little bit, not, not exactly, obviously I've played it before and I kind of have a rough idea of where I'm going and what's where, but uh, there's a little bit of a sense of like I've forgotten a lot of things. Oh, no, this is a cave. Volcano cave. Okay, no, this isn't what I want either. Um, righty. Hmm. Huh. Huh. I wonder. Yeah. I'm trying to look at this map and decipher. I'm pretty sure you gotta do the Falling Star Beast. And it's just like, yeah, I'm pretty sure I do. Okay, that's that's fine though. I can do him another time, or later today. I think right now. I should head towards mm, Lindell. Yeah, I think I should do Lindell. There's definitely stuff in Kayla that I haven't got that I probably should get. Like, I'm probably missing a few things from Kayla. Um. I went to the Church of Plague. I forgot I went to the Church of Plague. Hmm. Now you know what? we're gonna head towards Landell, and I'm gonna see. I'm probably gonna be under level for that, but we'll do. We'll just do that anyway. It's fine. It's fine. 
Uh, I know, I think it's this church, this place? I don't know if this is a church or what this is, but I'm pretty sure there's either a golden seed or a sacred tear in it. Usually the, church, usually the churches have the sacred tears and the little trees with the golden seeds. So that would be the incorrect assumption, the correct assumption? I don't know what I'm trying to say. So we'll go up there. Uh, I think i got to get out of this catacomb. Oh, this dungeon. Dungeon. I don't want to go too far out so that I don't alert the enemies. Pro move. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Oh, golden seeds. Oh, I already got this one. Already got it. I was right about it being a church anyway, which means it's probably a sacred tier. I should be able to jump down here without dying. Yeah. I feel like the um, the dropping down. Oh dear. Oh dear. That kind of looks like smoke. Okay, we're gonna do this fight. We're gonna do this fight. Okay, we're gonna buff the shield first, so I have more. Heart boost. Oh, he blood lost me. I blood lost him. Good combo there. I do stun him though, so I just need to make sure I'm getting hits on him. He parried me. That's gonna insta kill me, isn't it? Yeah. No? Oh my goodness, no. But that, you know, I can't do anything. Oh wow. Okay. That's totally doable. That was death 29. Not totally doable though. Let's do this take America. Because that should be close by. He feels like he's kind of like a mini Moog. Which is kind of cool. I'm going to go and grab my cells first. And then we'll activate him. I think this will help with... I don't know if this will help with blood loss, to be honest, but we'll test it out. I also don't want to activate the doggos. We just need to like stun him out of certain attacks, basically. Yeah, there. I just needed to stun him out of certain attacks, basically. That was kind of cool. That was kind of like a mini mode, I feel like. Maybe he's like... I, I really don't know much about the lore of this game. I'm not very good at it, but... That felt like a mini mode, and it felt like it was like... One of his minions or something. I don't know. a jump from the lower path. Oh. Is this where I wanted to be? Is 
this where the map fragment's gonna be? Maybe not, no, I don't know. Oh my, where is this sending me? I don't know if I've been here yet in this playthrough. I feel like I have been here. There's a side of grace. Oh yeah, I've been here. <laughs> yes, yes I have. Yeah, okay, right, back this way anyway, because we wanted to go to Lindell. Lindell. I will say it weird. I will say it wrong. Honestly, I kind of want to run through the first bit now and just, like, grab all the golden seeds. Actually, let me see if I can use that sacred tier or if I need, like, two or something to upgrade. Nope, flask upgrade. We are plus five now, that's quite nice. Yeah, I think we're just going to skip the first boys here and just run through to get to the, the golden seeds. Because I think you get two at the first tree. Honestly, I can't quite remember. Yeehaw! Let's -a go. Oh, dodge those. Sad to sad. Let's go. Sad to sad. Oh, two tree sentinels. Sad to sad. I have a feeling they don't follow me through here. Maybe they do. Maybe I'm wrong. No, I'm wrong. Oh, it's a side of grace, though. It's not a reset. Oh, they kind of follow you through, but don't really follow you through kind of deal. Golden seed. Golden seed. And... Map fragment! Wonderful. Look up to that finger reader lady. No, sir, thank you. I will continue on to the finger reading crone lady. Thank you very much. Oh, there's two here as well? Oh my goodness. That's loads. Oh, he's still coming. Ah, I'll still let the. Uh, let's see what happens. I'll let the, the finger reading lady read my fingers. Sure. Show hands. The, the tarnished would one day become elder. Surely you see it, the gold, as it shrouds the heavens. The great tree, which begets That's the great tree up there. Of light. Oh, tarnished. Hasten to the foot of the tree. And whatever you might the fingers will surely guide you. Wonderful. Fingers will guide me. Uh right, where am I going? Where am I going? I mean a bonfire would be great. I know I have to enter through here. You can't enter through there. I don't know if there's anything useful up out this way. I might head to this village here, actually. Just because I always think there's something... I think there's something up at that village that's kind of funny. We'll head there, and we'll have a look and see. Do a bit of exploring, and then we'll go into Lindale. Lindale. What are these things? What's up here? Battlegrounds. Big 
control. Oh yeah, I need some smithing stones to level up this sword so I don't feel like I'm doing no damage. Actually, I need to see what stone I'm on. I think I'm on smithing stone 3 is what I need for my next upgrade, or maybe it's 4, I'm not sure. This looks like a kind of empty battleground. Okay, we're gonna get these guys because I feel like they operate the cannons. Or the catapults, not the cannons. <laughs> cannons, what am I saying? Uh, how many of them are there? Just the two, it looks like. Yeah, we'll get the. Oh, wait, no, there's one over there. I'll get her out that one too. This is just a strategic. I don't want these cannons to smack me down. I want to work my way over to the windmill village. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, give me a dagger. here and why can I summon? Guess let's find out why I can summon. Highway lookout terror. Okay, there's ladders. Simples. Still knock them till they're dead. Simple times. Still going up. Wow. Okay. What's the top? A chest. I don't know why this feels like a trap. Great bow, great arrow. I think arrows for down spears are automatically equipped. I always unequip them because I'm like, eh, I don't need them. I should probably really take off Radigan's sword seal. Oh yeah, I also need more crystal tears for my flask because I have like one. <laughs> Reminded me of a few things. So I have no idea where any of the crystal tears are in the game, though. That's the only. Ah, oh, what? There's still a catapult up. Well, I guess we're going back for that one. I gotta actually have to look up where the crystal tears are, because I have no idea. Maybe it's one of those things in one of those places that I'm like skipping past because I'm like, eh, nah. <laughs> oh, and now he's asleep and not working. Oh, yeah. Only when I'm out there on the battlefield do you wake up. Oh, golden seed. Sweet. I hear yapping. I hear yapping in the village. Windmill village. Look at them all happy and dancing. 
That's a sight you don't see in Elden Ring every day. Question is, are they hostile? Well, I can lock onto them. That would tell me that they're hostile. But if I don't bother them, will they not bother me? Yeah. Yaha! I don't know if I have a dancing emote. I don't think I do. Sorry, friends. This feels like a trap. I feel like if I walk over and grab that item, they're all going to get aggroed. Stand over here. We're gonna look at them. And we're gonna take. Okay. Oh, I remember this. It leads to a boss at the top. And I think when I attack the boss, I think it's like a an invader boss. And I think they all get aggro then. Okay. Well, I'm not gonna aggro them because I like this. Nice, peaceful place in Elden Ring. Never happens. They've got, like, on all the stakes, they've got flowers and. Yeah, pretty. Uh, okay. Well, I wandered my way the whole way over here. I should probably go back there and rotate around in here. Actually, do you know what I do kind of want to do? Oh. Oh, yeah, that was for killing Radon. Uh, I kind of want to... Okay, I did that boss down there. That's fine. That church could have something in it. As could that. Oh, these are probably a whole bunch of sacred tears. I actually probably might go do these. Sacred tier. I'm going to assume a sacred tier. And maybe a sacred tier as well. We'll find out. We will find out. Together we shall find out. What's this area here? I guess I'll go to four along the way. I'll make this number four, find out what that is. I don't remember that. It's probably up here on this hill. Do you think I need to go this way and rotate around? Yeah, because we came that way. So this should lead me upwards. So I actually want to go to four first. I've done all the numbers in wrong sequential order, in the wrong sequential order. But anyway, we'll go to number four first. Wait, is that a side? Oh. Okay. It's not far from the last one. Is there something here? Oh, there's a thing here as well. Okay. Many things to explore then. Oh. I thought I'd get up here. Over here. Oh, 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 no. I'm just exploring. I feel like this is the way down, and I don't have enough jump potential to get up there. Uh, but I could go down there, and I could try and use that to jump up here. We'll see. We'll give it a go. We. Okay, we'll go around here. Yeah, I feel like I could totally use that to jump up over there. Whoosh. Yeah, let's try this. Go on. Go on. Oh, yes. Just barely. I wonder if that's... Uh, I feel like that's not the proper way up. I feel like I just did that. That's back. I thought it was a vendor for a moment. That's a village. Church usually means something. Yeah, there's an item. Lots of crazy rats. Oh, and a sacred tear. It's a good thing I explored here. It's a village. Ailing village. Oh, that's probably why everything's mad. We've got madness, because they're ailing. Is it coming from someone, or are they all just mad?
Oh. Shield. Oh. Side of Grace. I wasn't expecting there to be a Side of Grace up here. Oh yeah, I got a, Oh, I got loads of seeds. I don't think... Did I use any of the seeds? Add charge to flask. Use four. To get me to eleven. Actually, that makes sense. Wait. Eleven. I think it's twelve the maximum. Am I also at maximum flasks already? And I haven't gone to the mountain of the giants? What? No, that can't be right. Yeah, twelve is the maximum. Because... I, I definitely got the maximum in the past. How many do I need to level up again? Four. Is twelve? The, I'm pretty sure twelve is the maximum because that's what I had on my other character. And my other character, I got everything on. Yeah, because it's twelve plus twelve is the maximum. Are there... Additional sacred tears, not sacred tears, the other one. Are there additional, um, golden seeds that you don't need? Maybe. I might just teleport below me and cross over to this area. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna do that. Get back on track. I've already feel like I've kind of wandered around for the last hour. It's been productive. I've leveled up a bit. Uh, although, actually, I should look at my stones and see what I can do right now. I have a three, two fives, four sixes. You know what? While we're here, we're gonna we're gonna go back to the round table holds, and we're gonna check, and we're gonna see. So I need smithing stone threes. I need six of them, which means actually I really need fours. Because once six is the final amount that you need. You need 12 stones in total of each level to level up. So, okay. Shield is plus three. I should probably upgrade the shield, which means I need... Six ones and twelve twos. Which I have the bell bearing because I got that in yesterday's stream? Maybe that was in yesterday's stream. Yeah, I think that was yesterday's stream. Uh, so I can go six ones, twelve twos. upgrade the shield. I don't know if upgrading the shield will increase its guard boost. I'm kind of hoping that it will, but we'll see, I guess. Back already, no matter. Yes, I am back. Uh, I want to upgrade this. Ah, yes. The next upgrade goes from 56 to 57. Okay, but not every single upgrade. Okay, 58. Next one will be 59. Okay, that's good to know. So not every upgrade will increase the guard boost, but it will slowly increase the guard boost, which is good to know. Good to know. Uh, actually, I know there's a dungeon in Radan's thing, and I wonder is that the dungeon that gives me the finger shield? Um, I'm gonna look that up because if it is, I might try and do that dungeon. Uh, I think it's called Fingerstone Shields. Wonderful resource that is the Elden Ring wiki. Eldenring.wiki.fextralife.com. Very, very useful. <laughs> Fingerstone can be found at the Cathedral of the Forsaken. I have no idea where that is. Uh, 
Oh, there's a map link. See, it's even better. It even gives me a map link. Oh! Cathedral of Forsaken is in Landau. In the subterranean shunning grounds. Oh! Okay then. Right. Well, I won't be doing that until I get to Landau. Good to know. So it's not that one. Uh, so shield got upgraded a little bit. I do need... I'm assuming my favorite talisman, the Dragon Crest Great Shield, is going to be given to me in uh, Farron Azula, would be my guess. I don't think you get it before Farron Azula. Anyway, let's head back over here and see if any of these are churches with sacred tears. Or if I'm just massively assuming things. I was just checking something there. Just checking. Demi human fortress. It's definitely a boss here. Yeah, him. Really? Got a hit on him yet? Really? Oh yeah, these are weak ones compared to the other ones that I saw. Yeah, and that didn't like almost one shot me. Really? Oh, he kills his own dudes? Okay. short is he's got a really t small frame there we go it's kind of hard to poke him we got a staff we got a spell I think I know where I am on the map yeah I thought I was gonna be up in this bit so how does one get across there oh maybe it is from the upper bonfire that we get across there Teleport back there then. <laughs> we should teleport back here. Oh no, it's that bridge. I was down there earlier. Oh. Okay, we'll go down this side thing that I said was the way down. Up. Up. Okay, well, I can see number one, so we'll go to number one first. Is that a bad guy? Most definitely. See, so the other thing that's quite hard is that using a rapier from a from a from a uh, from a horse from horseback very difficult. Oh, I could have jumped up there. Anyway. Yeah, using rapier from horseback is also quite difficult. It's just because this sword is just so short and stumpy. It's like, this doesn't have much reach.
I'm actually one-shotting these guys. Oh no, what's this? Mm. Oh no, it's a bonfire. I was gonna say, I feel like this is one where I get invaded. I know there's a church somewhere that you get invaded at. Oh no, that was the DLC, maybe. Are these sacred tears? Is it one per level? Use a sacred tear. Yeah, it seems to be so far it's just one per level. Let me just check again. Yeah, a sacred tear. Okay, so we're at plus seven now. That's nice. Oh, Melina wants to talk. Hello. Spoken echoes of Queen Marika linger here as well. Shall I oh. share them with you? Sure. Is this a thing at the churches that she's like spoken echoes are here? America's own words. Maybe it is a thing. Then, after thy death, I will give back what I once claimed. Return to the lands between. Wage war. And brandish the Elden Ring. Grow strong brandish in the, the face Ring. of death. Warriors of my lord. Lord Godfrey. Okay. Thank you, Melina. Um, cool, down to this place, number three next. As I said, I did this out of order for some reason. But it's fine. Ah, walking mausoleum. I love that you can see that from like miles away. It's so, they're such a cool mechanic. Walking mausoleums. For anyone who doesn't play Elden Ring, who hasn't played Elden Ring, basically those giant. Uh, I don't even know what to, how to describe it. It's basically like a mausoleum on legs. Uh, they're called walking mausoleums. They uh, you have to like uh, to kill them. I don't know if you're killing them, but to you like knock them over by um, uh, damaging these like wart crystal things on their legs and they like collapse down and then you're allowed to open the doors and go inside them and you use them to duplicate boss souls or boss remembrances they're called uh, but they're basically just like boss souls uh, so that because every boss is going to give you um, uh, what's the word? two things like every boss is going to give you um, uh, like maybe like a weapon and then also maybe a spell or something or sometimes it's two weapons depending on the boss um, but you only get one boss soul that you can use to get those items um, so the walking mausoleums uh, there's a limited number you can't it doesn't allow you to duplicate every single boss soul but the walking mausoleums you go into them and there's a little um, I don't know what you call it, like a coffin? Like a stone coffin that you go up to and it will duplicate the remembrances and uh, then you can get both items in that one playthrough, which is... I, I, I really love that concept, I think it's really cool. Um, I honestly don't remember if you could do anything like that in Dark Souls previously. I don't think you could. Uh, yeah, there he is, Bing Bong. Now that one's a bell. So the ones that have a bell underneath them... Oh, here's a boss. Oh, but I need a stone sword. Ah, uh, not gonna do that yet. It's that one there, okay. Uh, that one has a bell, so there's some boss remembrances that are like greater than others. It's like they're not all created equal. Um, and the ones that are greater need the uh, the bells to be able to the bell mausoleums to be able to do it. Because there's some that don't have a bell. They're just walking around. If you're an Elden Ring enjoyer, you're probably just listening to me waffle and say stuff that you're like, yeah, I already know this, thanks. <laughs> Sacred Tear. Great. Now we're gonna be plus eight. I wonder now, is it two? No, it's still single Sacred Tear. Hmm. Okay, um. Explore down in the poison area. Yep, 
Yeah, I kind of want to see what's in that castle over there, and I'll have a look and see what's in this poison area down below. Bing bong. I can't remember what way around did I mark that. Yeah, I did it the wrong way again. So two is first, and then one. Mm, item there. Oh, and I actually pinged directly on the staircase. Wow. Okay. Oh, we're gonna go down that staircase. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and grab this first. I have no idea what that is. Oh dear. Lady who's been in prison. Okay, I managed to get them before they pulled off a wacko combo. That's not fair, I'm talking to someone. It'll do no good. And yet you Oh my goodness! I'm trying to speak to the lady. I'm trying to speak to the lady. Oh, this is so bull. What? <laughs> I'm just trying to speak to the lady. And you're here killing me. How did they not deactivate? <sighs> Steak America. Enemies like that should deactivate. Okay, well that is... We've hit another milestone. Death 30. Like, there was only one guy up there. Like, where did all those people come from? Okay, well, before I talk to her this time, I've got to wait and see what's going on here. Because I would like to hear what she's saying and find out if she's the one I think she is. He is going to come down eventually. He's just being a little smart. There. I hope that's the only one. Okay, let's see what she has to say now. Ah! And now I can't talk to her because I spoke to her. Do I kill her? Do I put her out of her misery? Oh, head, oh, head. No love for her. Oh, dear. <laughs> Don't you dare. No attacking ahead. I feel like that means that... Okay, I'll be nice. No attacking then. I feel like she kind of wanted it though. I only heard the beginning of what she said though. So those crash down. And then we'll push it. That's a lot of health. Oh, sorry, Ken. Uh, I'm just exploring currently. Uh, she had something to say. Um, she had something to say, but the problem was I, uh, I was being attacked constantly while she was saying it, and I had to like speed through her dialogue, and then I died, which reset her dialogue. Uh, so, now she, so now she says nothing, unfortunately, and I missed what she said. Actually, I should probably, you know, when the stream ends, I'll actually probably go back and watch it on the VOD and see what she said. <laughs> Because I would like to know what she said. Because <laughs> I think it looks, she looks like the other lady. Um. Ten.
Tower of Return. Oh, this is going to send me somewhere, isn't it? And I don't know where, and I'm looking forward to it. Usually I hate when this happens, but this time I'm actually like... I'm excited for this. Is it the same lady as the one who... Uh, in the other? Is it the same... Uh, okay, once I can get in my map, I can ask you the question. Oh, this is an interesting way to fight these things. <laughs> okay, is that all of them? That's all of them. Okay, Ken, my question is, is it the same lady that sells you the things that's in this room here? Actually, I can probably find out by teleporting there, but I want to find out where this chest is going to send me first. Yeah, I don't know why. They just all followed me. It's snared in a transporter trap. Yay! It's the first time I'm actually excited for it. It's it, it is the same one. Oh no. Okay, that's bad. Oh. Huh. Okay, thank you. Good to know it's the same one. Well, I'm glad I bought the shield spell from her before that happened to her. She got imprisoned. See how this goes. Oop, okay, didn't realize that also hurt. Come on, fall over. Wait, that damage me through my shield or What? That didn't look like it hit. Is he going off the edge? It'd be great if he went off the edge. I should actually put him more away from the edge. He's probably going to end up hitting me off. Go back to the first location. Okay, I will after figure out what's going on here and why he's not like get away from the edge if I fight this guy on the edge he's gonna hit me off I know it because it's happened to me already this playthrough <laughs> I just want one sagger please fire and he walks backwards probably have to keep hitting the same leg for the stagger to happen. And I've just swapped legs like 10 times. No, never mind, there we go. Oh wow, okay, that didn't do anywhere near as much as I hoped it would. big boy. Big hefty boy. Okay, but I guess we have time to recover. Oof. Oof! Oh no, he's gonna swing. No, he's doing fire, walk backwards. Okay. Oh! 
I don't think I've ever seen them do that attack. Wow, didn't even know he could do that. Oh. Didn't know there was a part two to that. Without the second stagger. It's very frustrating. There we go. Is he at least facing me? He is. Wonderful. Back to lurk and that raid started again. Started again. No worries. I think my lurk command is working. <laughs> Oh, I actually thought of a great idea for a new command. Ooh, blessed Jew Talisman. I might replace this one. Oh no, slowly restores HP. No, okay. Uh, I thought of an idea for a new command. Oh yes, actually, you know what? I'm gonna add the new command. Um, can't be used right now. Sure. Oh well, that's fine. Uh, the idea for the new command was. Uh, because of a Twitch thing. I find a lot of people put, like, what their system is. Like, you know, I've got an i9 processor with this 3090 RTX graphics card or whatever. So I'm going to add a command that is... Uh, exclamation mark system. And uh, obviously we're just going to say that we're the Xbox Series X. So people know... Or S. <laughs> so people know I'm playing on console. And uh, that is in Cloudbot. Commands. Add a command. Exclamation mark system. Okay. Command has been added. Let's see if it works straight away. It does. Lovely. Uh, okay, I'll see if this leads me backwards into Lando, because that would kind of be nice. I not have to walk the whole way around. Yeah, my health bar. I need a lot more health. <laughs> oh no, this is going to tell me it doesn't work from this side, doesn't it? Yeah. You can only come up the lift. Well, that's a shame. I just come here and fought that thing, and I'm pretty sure it'll respawn. Actually, I'll sit at the bonfire and see what it says. I'm pretty sure it'll respawn, though. Oh, it doesn't. Okay. Cool. Well, I won't have to fight him again anyway. Um, not that it was hard. It was just time consuming. <laughs> so, uh, you said to go back and visit the lady down here. Or go back here. Oh, yeah, she's gone. Oh, no. Just be mean and smash all her stuff. Kando, there's nothing here. I don't think I can... There's no quest to progress. Love ahead. Oh dear. Everyone who plays this game just really wants love. Yeah, no, she's not here. She's gone. Well, I'm glad I got the one spell that I wanted from her before she disappeared. Are there any balances? Oh, I know there's like a dragon down here. I should fight this dragon. Actually, I'm right next to it. I just want to think of early game bosses that I want to kill. Oh, 
oh, oh, oh, oh, all the boys. Oh, there is a chest on the back of that. Oh no. He's horning. Okay, I'm gonna. Oh, he's got an actual horse. I have a weird. Like, I have a torrent that's weird. This is not good. I think I one shot most of these, although I'm not gonna one shot him. We'll get rid of him before any more guys attack. Oh, there's so many of them. Okay, but I one shot all those guys. <laughs> They're like, now nah, we going up. We we're gonna still moving. The big trolls are like, now nah, we're we're continuing onwards. We're not we're not stopping. We're not stopping for anyone. All the rest of the boys were like, we're gonna fight. The trolls are like, nah, we don't want to fight. We just want to keep pulling the cart. Wow, well, kind of like set me on fire there. Oh, I probably can't open it until I've killed those trolls. Okay, that's fine. We'll just kill the Charles. Killed all the lackeys, I think. I bled him, that's useful. Oh, and a Scarlet Rodham. The other guy isn't attacking, though. Is he not allowed to? Oh, those are like proper enslaved. That's really sad. They still got fighting them though. Yeah. Okay, so I'm over leveled for these guys. Oh no, he's sitting there. Oh, he's just baiting me. That's a pro chat move. I felt bad killing those guys. Yeah, let's see now. Yeah, I saw the prompts there. Open. A great axe. Hmm. I haven't looked at this new menu in a while, so there's like a whole bunch of stuff that I've acquired that I can't, that I have not looked at and crossed off on the list. Holy water pot. I'm gonna make a bunch of them. And a volcano pot with volcano stones. Okay. Oh, I can make way more of these now. Ah, I can only hold a maximum of eight. Oh, I can only hold a maximum of eight crack pots in total. Huh. Oh, wait. Is the amount of crack pots I can hold. Based on the amount, I did not know that. See, I'm here being a pot boy, and I don't even know how pots work. It's the amount of pots that I can hold. It's based on the amount of. I did not know that. Huh. I assumed these were used in a crafting crafting recipe. <laughs> there you go. Use me being the silly. Uh, anyway, the dragon over the water. At least I think there's a dragon. There's some big enemy. Somber smithing stone one. It'd be great if this weapon was somber, but it's not. Pretty sure it like flies. Down from somewhere. Does it, I think it f comes down and kills all those boys. No? Yeah, there we go. Voodoo.
I assume I do more damage to his head. Not gonna be able to reach his head though, it looks like. Oh, we got a hit on the head. Well, that did damage to me. This is potentially gonna kill me. Yeah. Um. I wasn't. I wasn't in where the fire marked the ground, though. What? Um. I just have no resistance to fire. That was death 31, by the way. I'm still, as I say, still updating the counter here in the corner. Just, it can't be displayed on screen right now for some stupid reason. Uh, Streamlab support. If you are somehow able to hear my cry, I put in a message to your support team asking why it's not working. And if I'm doing something wrong and if there's a better way to do this. Oh, really? Really? Oh, this is too frustrating to try and get us. Really? Like, okay, of course. Oh, wow, okay, he can, I didn't know he could do so far in that direction. Oh! Really? Underneath the dragon. Yeah, I should just be fighting him on a horse. He takes too long to, to like run across the entire arena every time I want to do like two damage to this thing. Where is he going? He's not happy that I'm doing all this damage to him. That's exactly what's happening here. There we go. We got him. Oh, he's a great enemy. It only took one death. It really shouldn't have taken one death, but it did. Cool. Cool beans. Cool beans. Beans that are cool. I thought there was a. Oh, maybe it's here. I was like, I think there's a cave somewhere that will have some nice things in it. Oh, this is one of these ones. Oh, this is going to get me lots of stones. That's nice.
Oh, he actually gave me an okay amount of cells. We shall use that to level up. I think with the weakness that I have right now, I think I need to focus on getting my vigor up to 30. And once I hit 30, I think I will take off Radigan's Source Seal in, uh, for something else. What? I don't know yet. We'll figure that out. Oh, I don't even one-shot backshot these guys. No, they're just really resistant is all it is. Okay, heavy attacks on these boys. I should have come here ages ago when I needed all those smithing stones, but anyway. I don't know which way to go. Question is which way is a dead end? And which way gives me stuff? Well, that way continues to end, so we'll go the other way first. Oh no, rat as well. Trying to get a heavy attack. No, oh, he does a double. I would probably do more damage to these guys with some kind of like heavy weapon. Oh, is this an illusory wall? It's not. Treasure chest ahead. Liar ahead. Yes, praise the liar. Pour the... Pour the liar. I think just giving it appraisal, regardless if it's good or bad, gives person the... the appraisal, like, number. Like, they get, like, health or something, or they get... I can't remember if you get... Uh... Flasks back? I was about to say Estus, and then I was about to say Jars, and then I was about to say Pots, and then I eventually got to Flasks. Uh, I can't remember if it gives you Flasks back, or if it, if it refills your health to full. I can't remember which one of those it does. This feels like a trap. There's one doggo. Get out of there! Oh, he has a quick fist punch. No, he has a second. I can get him just before the second, though. It, it, like, it must just be that I need a blunt weapon to do more damage to this. Oh, really game. It miss. And this feels like an actual illusory wall. It's not. Liar ahead. <laughs> someone else whose note was lying. Praise the message and then try secret passage. Why is that appraised so many times? There is no secret passage. How dare it? Poor. I bet you there is, and I'm missing them, whatever, wherever the secret passage is. 
Oh wait, hold it, but this can't be the end. There's gotta be a secret passage somewhere. Hold it, saw the ball. There has to be a secret passage. be the end of this dungeon. There's got to be a boss at the end of this. There's always a boss at the end of these. Why is there some... What, what? No, no, no. There's definitely a boss at the end of this somewhere. Where, where would it be, though? Am I supposed to emote? No way is this like an emote to to get through it. But this message here is saying that there's a thing here. Ring. can't be the end. What am I missing? Maybe somewhere up this elevator I'm missing a jump off the elevator. Yeah, there. Yeah, there's a ledge there. Yeah, there we go. It's right about Secret Passage, but it's not an illusory wall. Oh, like how did that miss? Literally locked on. That seems like a fire attack. that my attack didn't stun him. <laughs> I kind of thought it would. It did not. Actually, hold that. I wonder if I have a blunt weapon that I can use that's going to do more damage. Mm, that sounds like he's getting closer. Oh no, that one sat back down. <laughs> um... I don't know if a flail counts as blunt. It's got spikes on the end of it. Let's try it for the fun. Mm, probably is if it one-shot him. One-shot him with the backstab. That's immediately better than the rapier. Probably does count a little bit more as blunt. Yeah, did I miss any stones up here? Nope, doesn't look like it. Is there another secret area to go off here? Yeah, platform, 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 item. I guess I'll do this. Oh yeah, that's the boss up ahead. Okay, yeah, I'll go back up and grab this item. Oh, room. At this level, I don't really need that, but anyway, it's fine. Whoosh. Wait, what is this? I thought it was going to be one of those crystal dudes. Oh. 
That's not a crystal, dude. I call jellyfish for this one. If he did, I would be dead. I shouldn't have tried to hit there. There we go. We got him. I made that a little bit harder than it needs to be. Roar medallion. Uh, any stones in here I can collect? Nope, doesn't look like it. And return to entrance. Okay, well that's my blunt weapon. If I need a blunt weapon. I wonder if that's somber. Because if it is, I can upgrade it really easily. It's got spinning chain on it already. If I put away the shield and do this. That's kind of cool. I like that. That's fun. That's entertaining. I appreciate there was another one like... Oh, there. Stranded Graveyard? What's Stranded Graveyard? Fang I have an affinity to towards because it was the first weapon that I used when I did my first playthrough and I used it for quite a while. As I now see a number of speedrunners use it as well. It's quite it's it's a, it's a very nice weapon. I really enjoyed using it. The weapon art is great because it gets you out of danger. You like get a hit and then you do this kind of backflip away while doing the hit, so it kind of kind of defends you a little bit. It means that you don't take damage, you can get a hit and then hopefully dodge a swing. Oh, we're back up here. Where is this thing that I'm... There's a dungeon around here somewhere. At least I thought there was one around here. Well, maybe not, maybe I can go crazy. Asher, ah, sure. we'll take on the first tree sentinel, why not? Day to you, sir. Wow, he sells a lot of health. Oh, we scarlet rod him. Could be 
big jump attack. Yeah. He still has combos in him. Two decent hits on me. It. There we go. You are the weakest link. Goodbye. Colin Halbert. I, I, I'm pretty sure there's a dungeon in here and I just don't know where to access it. It's not here. It's like down here somewhere. There's another one. It's not just that mining cave. Maybe I access it from down there. Let's go down there and see. Honestly, I was about to try and jump that. Don't think that's the way down. Almost fell off. Hmm. Have you been over to that church over there? It's probably the Church of Pilgrimage. That feels like too far of a fall. Yeah, I'm seeing a red blood stain. And so does that. Hmm. So how do I get down onto the beach? Ah. Over here? Yeah. This gets me lower. This is not the way down. And I may have just snookered myself. No, okay, I got off torrent backwards. Great, I'm fine. I think there's a vendor down there, as well as whatever that enemy is that's walking around. Campfire usually means traitor. In my head, anyway. Keep kind of following it this direction and see if I can get back to it. No, all that water is too deep. Yeah, all that water is way too deep. There's got to be a way down that I'm missing. Yeah, there's got to be a way down that I'm missing. Honestly, it's probably a cave that I've just missed. Oh! Or it's around from the other side. Like, because I know you go down there and that gets you. Oh, let's try. Oh, no. No, because it looks like you can't cross that. If I go down there, I don't even know where I would drop next. I feel like they put a side of grace here because they want you to try. I'm gonna die in this, but we're gonna we're gonna test it. Ooh, okay, we didn't die. 
I, I think I could get down there next. Okay, didn't take any damage to that one. S signs over there. Yeah, that looks maybe the way to... But that's way too far. No way I can get that. Oh, okay, with a run and a jump. Yeah, this is safer. And then this rock down here. And we're down! Success! Now, where's that enemy that was wandering around? There's no vendor. There's the bleed. And finish him off. Oh! Oh! I don't think I have that on my other character that's completed the game. <laughs> I don't remember seeing that. Yeah, I don't remember seeing that. And this is a cave. Although, that guy had a lot of health. If there's going to be a lot of those guys down here, I'm slightly concerned. <gasps> this is this item! The Halic Drake Talisman! No way! Which I think is holy damage negation? Yeah. This is... So, that's where you start the game. You wake up and you do the tutorial. I I always wondered how to get here. I don't think I'd ever come here before. I'll be completely honest. I don't think I'd ever come here before. This is a special moment for me, realizing how to get here. I don't think... Because I don't think I have the Halic Drake Talisman, the, the number one. I think I only have the number like three or something plus three or plus two sorry plus three is from the DLC I definitely have the plus two um, but I don't have plus one. Oh look that's cheeky I would have never spotted that there's one of those spirit jumps let's just double check there's nothing over here as well Surprised there isn't an item hidden over here. Oh, big crab. Just jump over him and grab the item. Lump of flesh. Okay, I wonder is there just a big drop off in the water? Because it kind of looked like there was a... Uh... Yeah, it's just a big drop. It's fine. Oh, if I'd known this was here. Really what you're meant to do is just search for that. And just jump down that. Uh, how hard is that to see? Pretty hard. That's pretty well hidden. You would have to be looking straight down. I didn't, and I didn't look off of this edge. Or, and if I did, I did that. and couldn't see it. Well, that was cool. I found the uh, the ledge at the beginning with the item. Although I'm pretty sure there's still another dungeon that I'm missing somewhere. I just don't know where. Uh, can I remember? Although I might go back and just do the, um, I know there's a dungeon at the start, like, I think it's in here, where I had that bonfire. <sighs> yeah. I remember this being kind of fun. Let's do this one. Oh, you need two, though. Oh, well. I've used them now. The way has been cleared. So that's why you're not able to do that right at the start of the game because you can you can select one, but you can't select two. Is this all poison? Oh. Okay, maybe this is not the. Maybe this is not what I'm gonna do now. This is gonna be a pain. Yeah, it's it's all poison. 
Are there any places that I can stand to get out of it for a moment? No, I've just got to deal with being poisoned, like the entire time, basically. Uh, do I have anything to negate poison? Uh, I don't. Can I craft anything that removes poison? I can't. So I've kind of just got to deal with having poison now. I can't remember how this guy works. I know like halfway through he like changes how he functions when you get to a checkpoint. Okay, we let him go past and then we follow him. Go, go, go! Yeah, you get attacked. Cross over here because I think you get attacked over here as well. Or not. How far down does he go? Yeah, okay, I'll run to the next one when he goes up. careful and remember I'm still poisoned. The other reason they don't want you doing this at early game because they're like well we're gonna poison you which means if you don't have a lot of health you're not gonna be able to deal with that. Okay, we gotta get around this corner. I don't know if he like comes around the corner. come around the corner? He does. Yeah, it's not a different one. It's the same one. Ooh, what's he doing here now? Oh, I'm very uncomfortable with what he's doing now. Come on, come down this way. Yeah, there we go. Oh, no. Oh, it's so short. somewhere I can drop down. Does he go the whole way up? No, he doesn't go the whole way up. So I'm just gonna take a quick peek. No, I think I'd die if I dropped down that. Just gonna bang that. It's gonna come back down. I'm gonna take a peek on the other side. I think he died before that. to do here. Screw it, I'm going to try this. Yeah, okay, cool, that was it. Pretty sure that's another way to go. Let me just see what's down here first. Yeah, we're gonna go the other way. <laughs> I know you can go that way. Choo choo, climb a tree. <laughs> Sorry, I missed that earlier when you said it. Um, now I'm going to climb a tree. 
see this dude come up here and I'll fight him over here. Uh, I wish there was a tree in here that I could climb. That would be useful. I don't know where the big guy is. And I feel like as soon as I run across here, he's going to jump out of me. Okay. But where is he now? That is the question. He's up there. Yeah, there he is. There he is. Where's my next checkpoint? It's quite far down. Okay, I'm gonna have to follow him down. <laughs> Danny, this dungeon here is kind of like a puzzle. It's like trying to figure out where you can avoid this guy, because this guy insta-kills you if he hits you. And it's like I have to figure out where to hide from him. Oh, this is super tight. Oh no, oh no, oh no! And I'm in. Oh, it still hurt me. I think the other side is safer. I'll go the other side. You got the two guys. Uh, okay, so I think I gotta run down there on the left. I'll wait till he comes up. And then we'll go, go, go. Uh, no, that's not where I'm going. Where am I going? On the right. Whew, okay, that was close. I know there's a way to kill him, but I've forgotten what it is. Okay, well, we have a boss for now. So we'll do Mr. Boss. I don't know what this boss is. So I will upgrade the shield. Do this. And then we'll summon. Oh, it's an ulcerated tree spirit. I hate these things. Oh, and I don't do very much damage to him at all. Can I Scarlet Rod him? Don't even know. Oh, yeah. Well, we bled him? Yeah, we bled him. Just explode the entire arena attack. Okay. Cool. Oh, we bled him. There we go. We got him. Yeah, they have a number of these guys called... Ulc oh, Golden Seed. Sweet. Upgrade. Um, yeah, they have a number of these guys called Ulcerated Tree Spirits. Um, who are basically just this... Yeah, what you just saw there. Just a giant flailing monster that they often put in tiny arenas like this where it's really hard to tell what's going on <laughs> uh, because you know difficulty i'm actually not going to use that so that little white yoke will send me back to the beginning of this dungeon i'm actually not going to use that because i want to try and figure out how to kill the big roly-poly guy who seems to have disappeared this is slightly terrifying I'm going to get killed by doing this. Why is he? Where is he? I hear him. I think he's really polied his way the whole way back up to the top. Oh no, I hear him. I hear him. He's coming. He's coming. Yeah, this is I like trains guy. Oh, 
he's really pulling on the other level. Nope. Nope. Nope, I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh. Can't believe I survived that. I need to see what's over there, actually. I should be able to get across here before he does. Oh, this is where I jumped down from. Yeah, okay, cool, cool. Go, 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 go! I want to go up here, because I think this is the direction I need to go. Go, 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 go! I made it, okay. And this time he'll probably roly-poly the whole way past. Yep. And he'll hit the top. Now, I want to make sure he goes the whole... That's not what I was expecting him to do. I thought he was going to go back down again. We're going to wait and see how far down he goes. Hopefully he doesn't stop, like, right there and goes the whole way. No, he stops right there. Okay. Which means I'm going to have to follow him, I think. Yeah. Uh, drink a flask. I'm gonna run across here while he's moving. Run get this guy. He's trying to shoot me. Okay, how far up does this go and where does it go? Let's see. So he hits that. He does a full turn around. He goes back down. He does that. He turns left and he goes. So yeah, I have a chance to run up here. There's an area over there. Okay, cool. We're looking good. We're looking good. So I remember this puzzle quite well. Is that an enemy? Yeah, I can lock onto it. Oh dear. Uh, I don't have a lot of healing. We're gonna have to do well. Oh, what's this? He shoots fire at me. Oh no, 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 stop it. I have to heal. Hit. There we go. Hmm, that could be dangerous. Dragon communion seal. Demonic Jeremy Clanson. <laughs> I like it. Yep. Now. Is that all I get from coming up here? No illusory wall anywhere? No ladder? Pretty sure this is where I was supposed to get on top of the... that item that I got from him. Oh, it's a seal. It's for casting incantations. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Um, I wonder that how I... I know there's a ledge that you drop down on him from. Huh. Do I follow him or do I let him go? Mm, I'll follow him, I think. Mm, following him might be a mistake, but we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. Oh no, following him is the right call. As soon as he passes, we go. Now we turn left. And now we grab this item that I missed earlier. So how on earth do we get above him? Come 
Come on, up this way. There we go. Oh, no, okay. Oh, I might die here. Uh, okay, we made it. There. I think that's the platform you jump down at him from. Like up there. But how do I get... Uh, yeah, because there's an item up there. How do I get up there? That is the question. Follow that car. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out how to get above him so I can kill him. I know I technically don't need to because I got the item, but there's an item down there I would also like to get. There must be another pathway that I'm missing somewhere. Hmm. Huh. Pose. Pose them. I think there's a secret door and I've missed it somewhere. I don't know where that secret door is. Um, well, I got the item that was in the middle of the platform, so I don't really need to kill him. I'll just exit out of here. Climb, climb, climb. I am poisoned, though, so let's get rid of this poison. Who was just making who was making screaming sounds? Where are these screaming sounds coming from? I do not remember this. It's not him. The heck? I'm confusion. Poison. Poison. Uh, okay. We're gonna keep leveling up vigor because I feel like I just don't have enough health at all. <laughs> I'm going crazy. I hear the screams. I hear the screams late at night. I need one more golden seed actually to level that up. Um Okay. I think there's there's either a golden seed or a sacred tier in this village here. Um, it might be time to do this village. I've been playing Elden Ring for too long, and all I hear is screaming. Uh, I spoke to her before. Oh no, not these things, I hate these things. Leave me alone. Why are they right at the door of where I can appear and spawn, anyway? Yes, there. That's a golden seed. Whoa, a boulder. <laughs> That boulder came out of nowhere. Uh, Side of Grace, cool. Okay. Oh, what? I can't get through here. I wonder if I can just jump off around the edge. I feel like I can. 
Or maybe this is like a trap, but I feel like I can jump off here. Yeah. <laughs> to avoid whatever that seal is. Well, it, does it tell me what the seal is? No. Don't really know. I can't tell from the picture what that seal is from. Could be from the ta this town itself, actually. Kind of having a quick peek at everything, seeing if there's any items. Any? Oh, well, there's a ladder here going somewhere. We'll have a check and see what's up here. Light flame. Um. Okay. Well, there's another one over there. Clearly. How many of these are there? Oh, no, I pressed the jump button. Uh, I don't want to be all the way down the bottom. Because these guys will fight me. Okay, we'll go back up where we were. And we'll go across the rooftops again. Oh, there's an item that I missed last time. <laughs> Here's a club. Nah, I'm going to go with these blue flames. The club could be an interesting idea. I don't ha I actually haven't found a club. It's like, oh, oh. I'm having a bad time. I'm missing my jumps. Hmm. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. 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 Goodbye. Hello, goodbye. Hello, goodbye. Hello, goodbye. Leave me alone. Hello, goodbye. <laughs> I now see what you're referring to. Poor baby seals. Oh, there's a guy on the roof now. That might be something from my wondrous physic. <laughs> that I ask for it. Not the seals. Come back for that item in a second. I'm just gonna go up here and light the flame first. Someone's throwing something at me. It's the guy who fell off the edge there. It's only two. Oh, stone sword key. Wrong button. That button. It's only two flames. It's usually three in these scenarios. Oh! It disappeared. Oh, he's on the move. This is going to be a little... Oh. But I can one-shot him. <laughs> I was going to say this is going to be a little like cheeky fight and I'm going to be chasing around the rooftops, but no, just one-shot him. Mm, we're falling off. Oh no. Oh no. Is there not another ter- Ah, this one. Do I go in through the door? Or is there a ladder? Hmm, maybe I'm going through this door. Praise the message, still no door. Okay. It's another one of these seals. Aha, here we go. 
don't think that's how I was supposed to do that, but we'll take it any way we can. Okay. I should probably go and uh, do some things. The seal was broken in town somewhere. Okay, I want to go back over to where I saw it on the other side. Drop down here. We're gonna grab horse. And we're gonna ride over here. Because there was a seal that led inside the building over here, and I wanted to see oh it's a chest, okay. Oh, no, not two. I'll use the wall as cover. Very lucky. Imbued sword key. Huh. I don't actually know what that's used for. Be able to exit here now. Yeah, I can. Big doggo. Or big head doggo. Hmm, there's a shack behind him though. I'm just gonna sneak around him. Oh, hello. A pleasure to see you. A pleasure indeed. I am Gary, a great sage. In my day, anyway. I'd hoped to ask a favor when one of your ilk came along. A okay. strapping young tarnished, able to cross the scarlet swamp of Aeonia. Don't fret. I'll provide fine recompense. Should you accept, I will teach you the secret of Celia, the town you see there. Oh, I've just gone through the whole ten. Uh, let's hear his request. Um, yeah, no, he's just it, the horse is always like that. There's no upgrade in the horse or anything. Uh, Torrent is the name of the horse. You get him pretty early on in the game, and he's your way of um, yeah, getting across the entire game and traversing the land. Oh, I didn't listen to what this guy said. That afflicts Millicent has no cure. When the earth tree flourished, even the demigods could not but Millicent's suffering. For this, you are to find a certain seek the deep scarlet swamp of Aeonia outside Celia's bounds. The needle made from unalloyed gold is lost. Oh, Interesting. So the girl back up in this ch uh, in this church, Millicent, is dying. And usually, I fight her here in this giant pool. <laughs> Illuminati, yeah, kind of looks like that. Uh, but he's telling me that there's a way that I can not kill her by going in here. So you know what? We might actually try that. I might try and find this needle that she needs so that she won't die. Because I don't think I've ever done her quest. Although I'm getting away from getting my jarhead. Although that will be the finale to the, to the stream, I think. We'll be getting the jar jarhead. Wait, what? There's a boss here? Okay. Uh... I don't remember these boys. Okay, this is doable. They don't got too much health. The other guy's gonna hit me in the back though, I can tell. Mm, they're dodgy boys though. Oh, the other guy's gonna kill my summon, which is totally fine. 
hopefully gives me enough time to get this guy. Yeah, he's Scarlet Rot. Which is actually doing a lot of damage to him. Oh, we can backstab this one. He saved the girl and find love. Yes. Hopefully. We'll see. <laughs> Every time he goes to do some swing attack, one of us hits him and knocks him out of it. There we go. Um, yes, unfortunately there is no uh, RPGing of love in this game. The, uh, the, uh, team in Assassin's Creed, yeah, kind of. The uh, only, uh, the only character that will uh, hug you. Actually, you don't want to hug because she will, by hugging you, she will give you this item, she'll give you this blessing that isn't actually a blessing, it actually, like, makes you weaker until you get rid of it and there's a whole quest line to get rid of it that's really long and difficult and annoying to do i think i can't remember how difficult it is but it's like she's like right at like the safe area of the game actually now that i've got that bonfire i can show you so in the round table hold over here this is like your safe house or your base the round table hold and there's a lady in here who will be like oh can i hold you for but a moment Greetings, great champion called by grace. I am Fia. Circumstances have compelled my stay at the round table hold. Great champion, would you allow me to hold you? But briefly, perhaps you might share with me some of your lively vigor and your stout heartedness. Doing so will grant me the warmth of a champion. And you, I am sure will bear a Baldekin's blessing. Do you That's think the blessing, yeah. Perhaps? Where <laughs> Do you think it's vulgar, perhaps? It is a sacred act. Uh, I refuse. Your disdain is only not should you change your mind. Come pay me. Come pay me the visit. I'm pretty sure this note. No hugs. I'm not taking a hug. <laughs> I don't want that debuff. I can't remember how to do her quest to get rid of the debuff. Uh, I'm sure these notes, though, are going to be about love. Ah, love. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and didn't expect head. <laughs> oh dear. Be gone, thought. Be gone. <laughs> oh wait, is this guy hugging her? Yeah, oh, I missed it. That phantom, that white phantom was was gonna go, was gonna hug her. I just like missed the action. Yeah, I just rewatched it back there in stream. Yeah, I just missed the action by a second. <laughs> Sad times. Um, right. What are we doing? Uh, I will level up. Get some more health. And then... Do I go back and fight the worm? No, you know what? There's a dungeon. Oh yeah, no, I was just doing... Uh, I was going to go find the... Uh, it's gonna go find the thing. I don't know what it's called. Blade or syringe? No, it wasn't a syringe. They called it something. He called it a needle. I'm gonna go see if I can find that needle to save save the lady. It's every time I always kill the lady, so it'd be nice to actually save her for once. I say every time. The two times that I've done it prior to this. Swamp of Aeonia. It was like from a dungeon over here or something. Yeah, here we go. Here's a dungeon. It's probably from this. Oh! This is a crystal tunnel. These are really useful. But what I learned in the last one is that the weapon that I'm currently holding 
is not good for this because uh, the enemies in here are basically like stone so they need to be attacked with blunt damage rather than pokey damage which is what my rapier does it does pokey <laughs> i don't really know where it says pierce standard and pierce whereas this does strike i don't even know if that's blunt but it was stronger it's unupgraded and it was stronger than my upgraded weapon so I'll probably use that again, but if I can, I actually want to see if I can upgrade that weapon. <sighs> yes, for some reason when you're in dungeons like this, even if you're at the the uh, checkpoint thing, you can't fast travel out. So I've got to walk out of the dungeon, and now I can fast travel. Oh, I've hit mask flasks, I didn't even realize. I'm 12 flasks. Healing flasks down in the bottom left corner. That means I am maximum. Where am I? This way. Well, I took you now, to smash all those stoners. Get them stony boys. Oh yeah, it is smithing. Great. Okay. One, two. Oh no, it's not. It's normal. It's number one. Still, upgraded a little bit will be better than not upgraded at all. Okay. Cool, cool, Kent. Take your time. I'm just doing random side quests. But I'm actually probably going to be off soon, <laughs> in all honesty. We've been streaming for almost three hours. I've probably cut it at three hours. Ooh, exciting, cool. Looking forward to hearing. Wait, swap two. Looking forward to hearing about the good news on the script. Okay, all of these are passive right now. Where's the active lads? There, trap. It was a trap. He's up here. I don't know if I can jump up this. the stoners are passive until I steal whatever they're trying to mine. So I'm okay for now. It's just... Oh, except the ones that are walking around. The ones that aren't mining are going to attack me. I want to get this guy who's above me here because he's going to be a problem. Huh! And he pushed me off. Of course he did. It'd be great if we could get him to fall. Yeah, there we go. That's what we want. Mm, you're like sticking me in a corner here. Mm. Get out of here. Ooh. Could have been a lot worse. He's not mining. We got him. 
Oh. Pest grave, nice. We got his weapon. What another rune arc? Actually, usually I equip rune arcs in the down. But I've only got three. Up. Actually, just double check if any of these guys are mining. Mm, none of them are mining smithing stones, so I'm not going to bother them. Oh, there's a bit underneath this, isn't there, that I don't want to miss? Oh, no, there isn't. Okay, I thought there was something underneath this platform. Apparently not. Uh, so, uh, when I kill a boss... Um, uh, when I kill a major boss, they give you a a great rune. Oh, I missed that, really. They give you a great rune, which you can equip at these towers. Or, well, you can unlock them at the towers. So, boss gives you a major boss gives you a great rune. You take the great rune to a tower, and the tower gives you a... Um, uh, gives you their great rune so that you can equip it and use it. It appears, if you see in the top left corner of the screen, there's the red bar is my health, blue bar, um, spells, and uh, green bar. To the left of that, there's a box that's blank. It's just blacked out. Uh, your great rune appears up there. And when you use a rune arc, you basically like smash the little arc in your hand. And when you do that, oh, uh, when you do that, uh, the rune arc um, gives you the ability of the whatever the great rune is. Um, so each one is each boss gives you a different one, um, so you can get different abilities. Uh, like one is like you get 25% extra HP, or there's one that f where you uh, every time you take damage, uh, if you hit immediately after, so if, like if you counter. Um, you restore HP from that. Um, there's a whole bunch of different abilities that they can give you. Uh, and you only get it for as long as you have the rune arc active. So when you pop the rune arc, it stays active until you die. And then next time you die, it, uh, you gotta pop another one if you want that ability again. Um, so for me, I've only got three right now. You can see in the bottom left corner. It's not worth me using them at this point in the time. I don't have very many of them. Uh, but the further further I go in the game, the more I'll get, and it might be worth using them. Uh, sometimes if there's like a really hard boss and it's like almost killed him, but I'm like not there yet, I might use a rune arc to like help finish him off and like give me that extra little bit of power to be able to kill the boss. Um, yeah, <laughs> pretty much. It's just like the Skittles of Elden Ring. You need crazy power, you get a rune arc. Invite me. Oh, yeah, sure. Cool beans. Uh, let me go stream first and just double check that. Yeah, party auto is on. Kendo will be joining the party. Yeah, basically demon steroids. Hey, Ken. What's up? Not that much, brother. Not that much. How'd the raid go? Uh, pretty smooth, to be honest. Um, like, just a lot of casual conversation going on in most of it, uh, where we could, so that's always a good sign. <laughs> Although there's a couple of times where I just completely messed up, and I was like, yeah, sorry, brain just switched off for a moment. <laughs> <laughs> Might have caused a few wipes. <laughs> but, uh, no, it was good. It was good. <clears throat> and it was someone's first time doing the raid as well. Oh, or nice. doing... it's, always, it's always fun bringing someone through the, the raid for the first time. Uh, maybe just the last encounter, but... Uh, oh, I can knock down yeah. this ladder for a shortcut.
still no exotic though. Good shit. Two of these guys at the same time. But it's happened, it's happened, and we gotta do it. That's one down. No! Do not combo me to death! Ooh, that was too close. <laughs> Good reference. Oh, I've got him stuck in the corner. This will work to my advantage. There we go. <laughs> this is getting out of hand. Now there are two of them. What's that reference to? Uh, Star Wars, I'm pretty sure. I just can't remember which one. I can picture it in my head. Danny, help. Which one is it? Um, also, how come you're not using the rapier now? Uh, cause, uh, the rapier does absolutely no damage to the all the enemies in here. Ah. Uh, I need a weapon that does, like, blunt damage. Ah, uh, it's Phantom Menace. Yeah, it's, oh, is it? No, there are two of them. Is it? It's, oh, it's, uh, yeah, it's, um... On the, it's at the very start of episode one, I think. When is it? Obi Wan and Qui Gon. Yeah, around the battleship at the beginning. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. They're on the um, blockade at the start, on the. Yeah, and they're clearing it out. Yes, that is it. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's a falling star beast. This was not what I was expecting to fight down here. That fight is a nightmare. Mm. I'll be back in a minute while you're doing that. Oh, blood loss as well. Oh, this is a nightmare, yeah. Stunned him. Where's this? Where's this? In his head. Oh! To, to the crit! What? Oh, can I not? What? Blood loss, no. I forgot he does that. Oh, he's got me. Yeah, the Trade Federation, guys. Yeah. 
Yeah, oh man, the music is epic in this game. Yeah. The music is absolutely epic. Okay, that is death number 32. Ah, okay. Um, I might go back to just trying the... I'll just try the rapier and see what happens. Ah, yes, okay, yes, no. Music, music from episode one in Star Wars. Yes, it is also very, very good. I do love the music in Elden Ring, though, in this game. Like, oh, the final boss... Oh. The final boss music is just incredible. So now, I kicked a ladder down earlier. Which means I should just be able to skip the whole way up. I'm back. To the boss. Or near the bus. Did you beat the beast? No, I died. I got it down to maybe half. How did that hit me? What? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna summon jellyfish again. He seemed kind of useful last time. It's been quite nice. I've not really been using sovereigns in my playthrough. Shields. I didn't do too much, that's okay. Okay, I have the... Oh wow, okay. Oh, I have Scarlet Rod him. That will most definitely help. He's definitely gotten more aggressive as this fight goes on. I wouldn't say he has a phase 2 per se, but... Scarlet Rot really did a lot of damage to him, actually. Didn't get the timing on that, I haven't learned it. Shield up! Cool. More hit. There we go. We got him! Can't take healing for granted, though. <laughs> no, you can't. I've just Five killed. Stone I just killed four to six. Oh, and he gives you the somber miner's bell bearing. Interesting. 
Interesting. Yeah, I did that fight earlier, and uh, it just reminded me of a horrible like fight you have to do to get such an early game item. Like, yeah. playing a fallen star beast is such a small room. Yeah. Okay, level up. Level up. I think, I think with this character, I'm going to do the, uh, the death ending. Again, I have no plus four smithing stones. <laughs> Where is the three four bell bearing? Um, the second regular bell bearing is in a chest in the sealed tunnel, which is in the river surrounding and the waterfront surrounding uh, Altus. Let me send you a photo. Yeah, do because I can't remember at all. I have zero memory. Right, there you go. So you go, you get down to that area where the red circle is, and then the tunnel is where the yellow one is. And there's an illusionary wall in there that you have to hit, and then you can get into the actual oh, mine. Oh, I remember, yep. Yeah. Like you don't you don't need I to clear remember. the whole mine, it's literally just in a chest. And if you felt inclined, which I usually do whenever I'm going through that, um the rock guys with the the backpacks on, if you kill them, they have a good chance of dropping Smith and Stone five, so you can get a plus fifteen weapon. Uh I have loads of I have loads of five, six and sevens. Oh, my 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 issue is I haven't found a single four. <laughs> Wait, you've been live for a while. What have you what have you done today in like the three hours you've been doing? Uh, I'm now I now have the twelve flasks. Uh, I got more stuff on the map. I went down and did Celia Town of Sorcery. I went all around Mount Gelmir except doing the Falling Star Beast. Uh, didn't find my way into Volcano Manor. <laughs> Forgot how to get there. Um, uh, but that's okay, because I don't really need to go there. Um, yeah, I normally get Yeah, it's the mostly invite. just been leveling up and collecting. I went down, yeah. I got a bunch of Sacred Tears as well. I went down and uh, I killed the dragon right next to where you start the game that I had skipped ages ago. All right. Have you been to Alexander at Volcano Good, good night, Donny. Or Danny. Sleep well. Hope you, uh, hope you have a good rest. Uh, we'll chat soon about the script. Have I... Uh, no, I went to Alexander, but I wanted to listen to his dialogue, like, properly. Uh... And I tried killing the thing, and I, it, I just do like no damage to it. So, do you, um, do you want me to come fight it with you? No, no, I'll get it. The whole stream has kind of been leading up to fighting that <laughs> to some degree. Sorry. Uh, so I will. Where you said it's in a chest? Yeah, just in that room. I I... Uh... Yeah, I think I found. Oh yeah, yeah, way, so... yeah, found it. Got it. Oh, thank you very much. No problem, though. Uh, we will come back here another time. Like, I've been all the way down to the hallowed tree. I could go fight my lady. <laughs> what? Um, Alright. No, I'm um, taking my time.
See, I don't no, remember where any, I don't remember where anything is. <laughs> so I'm like trying to Just find to everything again. Just it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it, it very much feels like I'm playing it for the first time all over again. I feel like if I if I did YouTube and stuff, I would definitely um do a, like, a mini series of like different ways to get strong in Elden Ring off the bat. Like just you just you get in, you get a weapon and that's it. It's like you're already set yeah, up yeah. to pretty much clear the game. Like one of the best ones I can think of is you you go to Kaled River, uh, the swamp, you go to the sage runes, you get rock sling with the meteor staff. You then set it to night at the Church of the Plague, and then you do all that naughty business with the Death Rite Bird and get the Death Poker. That thing is insane, and it's a somber weapon as well. Naughty business. Like you can beat the game with that weapon really easily. <clears throat> oh yeah. It, oh, it's a Ghost Flame weapon, so it does uh, frost build up and a lot of it, and plus because it's fire damage too. Well, it's magic damage, but it's like fire, so it does. I think it resets the frost when frostbite stuff, which is nice. Um, I also want to do Millicent's quest, so that's why I'm not fighting thingy. Uh, but yeah, so are you going to get um, whole leg? I looked down at my phone and you were. <laughs> Fighting the thing. Oh yeah, there was a golden seed down there. <laughs> but I was, I'm, I'm like not using summons really. Like I'm just not bothered to use any, and I want to use other than I want to use ones other than mimic. But the problem is, like, it doesn't use it. It's not even that it's too strong because I'm not using armor at the minute. I'm only using leggings, so it's like. It's just because it's not costing FP, well, and I've not leveled up my mind, so it's like it's the only viable thing I've got. <laughs> it's the use a mimic. Um, I don't. I don't know. Did you go back to the ruins, by the way, and talk to the lady? She wasn't there. Was there anyone I, there? I called you. I cut. No, there was nobody there. I called you out on it as, as, as soon as it happened, but you were gone. Uh, I was like, "There's nobody here. It's an empty place." So, you talk to her. You buy the sword. You buy. Oh, you just talk to her, really. <clears throat> and then, Back already. I think oh, there's something you do. But then, yeah, you go there to where you did, where she's chained to the wall, and that's her actual body. And then she gives you like her glintstone something or other. Mm. And then you need to go and do something with that. But there's like, oh wait. Have you, yeah, you did fight, you fought Redan. Didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. R Redan did. Hmm. Redan did. Redan did. He has you been redundant. redundant. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Back to fight the worm. I'm gonna go do a mine in the Consecrated Snowfield. My weapon is now plus 14. So, we have leveled up considerably since last time. The star and I have more HP. Oh yeah. Yeah, I've, I know it's that, so, yeah. And live in a few hits. I was saying to Donny uh, as well, I was like, I love watching you do this like shield pokey build right from the beginning because it's like it just makes you look so like noobish. Yeah. The problem is, it's not actually that good at the beginning. No. Like, it's, it's very situational. It's not good at all. <laughs> but not until I get better um, talismans, basically. So freaking short. Oh yeah, I do think double damage now than what I did last time. Oh wow. 
poor jellyfish just got one shot. Okay, I've graded the jellyfish. No, I haven't. I'm kind of waiting until I get mimic before I do any upgrades. Sorry. I mean, you could go and get mimic right now if you wanted to. I could. Which is nice. So there's no pressure for that. Oh, no. Freaking fire. Actually, I should put on the talisman that resists fire. Does he Especially do fire or is, ma or is magma it's different? It's fire damage. No, it's fire damage. Okay. I think. The fire just two shots me. Um... I forgot that there's the rotten duelist that you fight in the um, consecrated snowfield as well. That you can go find them and get the rotten duelist armor. Okay, I'm clicking the button to get off the horse and nothing's happening. Why was that not working? The horse has already turned to glue. allowed to fire behind himself. What? I don't enjoy fighting Magalorms either, don't worry. A like, how is he don't. allowed to aim like that? What? Oh no, oh, oh no. I also need to go get some more crack tears because I literally still only have the half HP because I can't remember where any of the oh tears my are. God. <laughs> um, like some of them are like the uh, the floor for the basic stats. Uh, they're just like in bowls. No, um, no, no, don't hit! Don't hit! Don't hit! Don't hit! Be hit! It just depends what you're wanting to boost. He's in phase two. Okay, we bled him. Okay. Come on, how is this not hitting his tail? I need to dodge these hits. That's why. I need to dodge his sword hits because they do too much damage to me. Oh, okay, that was okay, that was okay, that was okay. Okay, don't get too greedy, don't get too greedy. Do get greedy, do get greedy, finish him! Yes! Nice one. Alexander emote. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now we can go speak to Alexander. Okay. Uh, I'm actually gonna probably end the stream here, Kent, so I'm just gonna mute yeah, yeah. party for go a sec. Uh, we're gonna listen to Alexander, and then we're gonna... Uh, and the stream. Oh, I can hear him screaming in the background. Oh, it hurts, Tarn.
Alexander, my friend. I'm here. Are you enjoying the toastiness? What business might you have in such a place as this? I hardly think you're here to temper yourself with flame, considering that fleshly form of yours. Your timing, though, is impeccable as ever. I've been oh, yes. just the thing for you on my journey here. Take it. I'm sure it'll suit you to a tea. <gasps> Thank you, friend! We are now a Jar Warrior, just like Alexander. Thank you, Alexander. This is wonderful news. We now have Jar. It's hardly more than lukewarm here. I won't be able to temper my body such that it'll never crack again. Perhaps I'll head eastward. There's an old saying I've caught wind of. Above the lofty clouds, the icy giant's peak doth soar. Here lieth the flame of ruin, which ever burning roars. Wonderful. Thank you, Alexander. We now become Jar. A wonderful success. I am now a Jar warrior like Alexander. My Jar has been tempered in the flames of Mount Gelmir. I don't know how to say the name of the mountain. This is terrible. Gelmir? Gelmir? <laughs> See what he says. Eastward. There's an old saying I've caught wind of. Above the lofty clouds, the icy giant's peak doth soar. Here lieth the flame of ruin, which ever burning roars. Wonderful. Eastward. I know where he's going. He's going to the mountain top of the giants, and I will see him there for the flame giant. Wonderful, Alexander. Thank you very much, sir. You have helped me on my journey to become a Jar Warrior. Wonderful. We have achieved our today's stream goal of becoming the Jar Warrior. I said level ups may be Lanedale. Ended up not doing Lanedale. Ended up just leveling up a whole bunch of stuff. We now have plus 12 flask. Sorry, no. We have 12 flasks plus 8. Uh, at plus 8 level, which is great. And now we eventually have got the Jar Helmet. We are now officially a Jar Warrior. Who looks very similar to Let Me Solo Her. But anyway... We are now officially a Jar Warrior, so uh, now that we are a Jar Warrior, we can continue our quest to become a great Jar Warrior, which takes us into the lands of the Erd Tree, the Shadowlands of the DLC. It'll take us a little while to get there, but we will get there, which means we need to kill... Yes, let me poke them. Maybe that should have been my name for this character. No, my character's name is Jar Warrior, so that's that's okay. But let me poke them. Is the new uh, is the new build. Um, so yes, uh, next time we shall do Landell, and we shall move on towards killing Moog, which I think I can probably do without doing Landell. But uh, I want to do Landell first because I think I want to get the fourth talisman pouch. And speaking of talisman, I want to re-equip this one. Uh, and once we hit uh, 30 vigor. We're 29 because of the sore seal, so minus 5, we're 24. Once we hit 30 on Vigor, I will take off the sore seal and use a different item. And yeah, that is the plan for next stream. Uh, might stream tomorrow? Uh, I am heading out tomorrow, so there might be a stream tomorrow. So if you're around uh, Monday, maybe something like uh, 12... Pacific time, uh, which is probably 8 Irish time, GMT minus 1 currently because of summertime. Uh, so yeah, we'll be streaming tomorrow. Stop by and see the next part of the quest of the Jar Warrior. Thank you for being in the stream today. Thank you for the follow. Thank you for all the different lurks from all the different people dropping in and the chats. And we will talk to you soon.